Jeff Brunderman drives a lot for his biotech company. Oh, that got a little scary. But for a man with sleep apnea, this was safe for no one. When you started this process, you were stopping breathing 36 times an hour. Right, which and is pretty uh, severe, right? Yeah, that's in a severe range. The extreme fatigue led him to try everything, from a dental device to open his airway to a bulky CPAP machine. Doctors agree those weren't working. Several times I would look and the device was thrown across the room. But finally, relief. So that's the device right there. In the form of a chip under his skin. You can definitely feel it. But again, it's not uh, anything that bothers me. They hit the remote control, which activates the device. And then every time people inhale through the night, there's a signal sent to the nerve in the neck to pull the tongue forward. Inspire is a device implanted through outpatient surgery. It's turned on every night by a remote control. How's the energy level through the day? A lot better. This device was approved by the FDA back in 2014, but only in the last couple years has it actually been accepted by most major insurance companies, including Medicare, which makes it a much more viable option now for patients. We see a marked reduction in the pauses in breathing throughout the night, and sometimes people actually uh, are completely normalized after implantation of this device. And for patients like Jeff, it's been a game changer. I do feel like I'm getting a good night's sleep every night. And probably the number one benefit is my wife is uh, also getting a good night's sleep. So lucky for her, um, I did find Inspire. A good night's sleep leading to a higher quality of life. In Kenwood, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.